Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm King Sway, and welcome back to King Sway Entertainment. Today, I, I've been, I know I want, I, I've been covering a lot of fight videos lately, but uh, I, I love it. It's part of who I am. It's what I've done, and I, like I said, I love it, and I, I still train for it when I can. But today, we have Street Beefs, the Challenger versus Sleepy Junior. Uh, before I get into this video, uh, at the end of every video, I do my um, my little plugins for my products. I have an Etsy shop. I partner with Etsy for merchandise. I want to say, uh, one, I do read comments you guys leave. I don't control the shipping. It's a third party thing. I just create the designs. They put the designs on the shirts and then they ship them out. I don't control that. So if you go on, oh, hey, it didn't get to me today and it said it would, fuck you, which has happened. Brittany. I'm sorry. I have no control over that. That is third party. And common sense would dictate that because uh, it's not a personal site. It's Etsy. It's Etsy in and of itself is a third party. Please don't leave negative comments on my stuff because of something that's out of my control. Thank you. Anyway, like I was saying, Street Beefs. We're going to jump into this. Hey, we're in San Antonio, Texas big. today. Hey, look, if you got a question, you want to fight for us here in Texas, it's real simple. Comment on this YouTube post, I'll find you. Or find our Facebook or Instagram, Street Beast Dirty South. Simple. Give me your info. I give you the info. You show up. You have some fun. Easier said than done, though. Uh, much, much, much special shout out to our supporters, man, Brother Boxing. I've seen that before on another, uh, uh, maybe it was another channel. What's your name? Factory to trailer to Griffin, ready to go to war. Let's go! Slim Junior, ready to get some work in there. All right, Tommy, you guys ready? All right, guys, y'all touch gloves and have a good day. Okay. Oh, I do. Okay, here it is. I gotta watch it because uh, my camera. But. Boy, swing it. This is uh, one of my original um, mouth guards. It's actually, I haven't really used that one this much. And all my fights, up until recently, it's been this one. But this is the one I'll be using going forward. So, <laughs> you can tell that they're, they're very similar. Except for this one is only the top part. This one is top and bottom. But I don't clench my jaw as much. I've had this one 12, 13 years. This one, I want to say about seven. Now on to me commentating because I wasn't paying attention. That was a, what the fuck? I was, I was just about to say that's a weak ass jab. Just don't leave your arm out. Counter that haymaker. And then when he came with that over, no. I'm going to pause this here because it's almost halfway done. No, I'm pretty sure you've seen me do it before. You keep your hands up. Yeah, uh, and I'm going to make sure my dad sees this. Okay, I'm going to make sure my dad sees this because he always used to, I used to drop my left. It was a strategy most of the time. Sometimes it was just because I had bad form. You, you can hear him yelling from my corner, pick your fucking left up. So I'm just like, just, <laughs> but yeah. So Pop, I'm going to make sure you see this. <laughs> So, yeah, no. One, two. One, two. When you just, when you keep them up, make sure you can peek a boost out and you can block. Just And if you come in here, you can come with a hook or just come with a counter. Just, you know, just pop, pop, just pop, pop. Just, not, not like, just, 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 just even it, that's not me, that's me not even thinking, just. One, two, and just pop, pop. 
bring keep them here bring them back keep your head moving i'm not gonna lie i don't move my head that much until you start throwing more more and more when you start throwing more is when i start moving my head and then I, i'm looking for openness that's just me but we're gonna get back into this i might start doing tutorials on this i don't know what do y'all think leave a comment down below The challenger is going to win this one. I've got no doubt about that. He's He's got a little bit of training. But he seems a lot more patient. At least they're breathing. He's the type guy. At least they're breathing. I, when I used to teach, you know what to say. Those who can't do teach. My wife, Queen Sway, she made me quit. She made me, she made me step out of the ring because. Uh, if you ever saw Warrior, that scene where the wife goes. I thought we agreed we weren't going to raise our kids in a family where their dad got beat up for a living. It was something like that. Um, you know, fighting is hard. Even the training when you're going in there and you're sparring, especially when you spar hard. I used to teach just so I could stay in the the the, the world, the, the atmosphere, the scene. I used to teach. I, I would teach boxing and kickboxing. Um, one of the first things we did was was breathing. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and just go like until you could get a foot. Breathing was the first one, and moving was the second, so that you could breathe and move because they seem so easy. But that that is where so many street fighters mess up. They don't breathe, or you know they got bad movement. So. That's what I'm kind of seeing here with uh, uh, the guy Sleepy Junior, the one with the, the the wife beater. That's kind of what I'm seeing right now. I that's why I think um, the challenger is the one that's going to win. So that uppercut, don't just go like this. Hook into it. All right, so he was looking to strike. He was looking to throw something like he got. His uppercuts are trapped. What are you doing? This ain't wrestling. No, he's rushing it. He's lobbing. You see it. He's lobbing. The, and the guy, uh, come in. Move your shoulder. What the hell? That's you're losing so much power. You've never seen a boxer just go ink like this. Yeah. And you come just body head body. Body head body. He's tired. What was I just telling you about breathing? Body head body body head. Body. He, he's too tough. What did he take a body shot? He must have. That's all. Did he, he spit his mouth guard out? What you gotta say? Respect. Respect. I know it wasn't that great, but I fought for all the fallen warriors and friends and family that we've lost over the last few years. Thank y'all. This is Damn. Beefs. Shout out I was to just about to say. Shout out to the double champ, Nasty Native. Dirty South, baby. Show them how we do it. Bang time. Let's go make some bang, bro. Street beef, street beef. Gloves up, guns down. Street beef, street beef. Represent Dirty South. Everybody wants the crown. Kings of the underground. Street beef, street beef. We going round for round. Damn. That outro, though. That's my hell of an outro. I gotta get something like that. My outro does not compare. 
But yeah, I was I was actually just about to talk about combinations and things like that. Watching this makes me want to do things like uh, you know tutorials and things on my YouTube or uh, not my YouTube, but my um my Instagram. I'm gonna be honest with you, I I put my Instagram and in, in my socials in there and I plug them. I haven't done much on my Instagram. I do more on the the YouTube my YouTube channel than anything. But I'm gonna start doing um uh more things on my Instagram. I'm gonna take more pictures. And more video well not just my everyday life but like scenes and things and like i said just technique training because up and somebody suggested a couple years ago when i first really started getting into um social media and things like that i'm like nah nobody wants to see me train nobody wants to see that sh it's gonna be hard to do to begin with because i i usually train by myself i don't like people watching me i am very self-conscious um, especially because I, I I put on a couple pounds, I'm a, I'm heavier. I've since I've gotten bigger, I haven't trained the way I used to. Um, I wish I wish my wife was here, cause she'll tell you I used, I would run five miles to work, work a ten hour shift, run five miles back home, spend time with her and the kids, and then I train for like two to three hours, and get something to eat, then pack my lunch, get up go to sleep, get up, and do it all over again, that was like five days a week, Sunday was like the only, and on, I worked Monday to Friday, and I had Saturdays and Sundays off, and Sunday was like the only day I didn't train, and even then, like, I still wanted to feel that pump, so it, weightlifting, and, and, and cardio, and, and bag work, and conditioning, I had my own little gym while I was, I was actively, uh, competing, and, she hated it. I'm not going to lie. She, she loved it that I was still in the house, but she hated it because I was either, we were like out on date night. I was with, playing with the kids or I was downstairs training, like competing took up a lot of my time, but somebody said a couple of years ago that I should put my training routine up on uh instagram and i never thought about it until like like i, I never really seriously thought about it until like right now so i think that's going to do that i'm gonna I'm see if i can get my my brother to help me with that and so comment down below if that's something you like to see on my instagram and don't forget to follow me on instagram at king underscore sway 82 uh we're gonna end the video on that one if you're new to the channel, hit the like, subscribe button, hit the notification button, and the bell. If you have things that you want me to cover, I've actually been doing a lot of fight things lately. Um, but I do all kinds. Of, I, I do reactions to all kinds of things, especially if you are not new to the channel but you've been watching anime and and comics and things to that degree. Like the recent one I just did was Noble Comics, uh, and his react in his video towards why Goku would beat the shit out of Superman and then I kind of destroyed that because he knows about he claims to know about comics but he doesn't and he cl he doesn't know anything about fighting or weightlifting or anything like that he's I've had this discussion before and it's you're you're arguing with the scientist about the thing the very thing the scientist studies it's your opinion versus my knowledge so If you got anything you want me to uh to cover, you want me anything to react to, because I do take pretty much all um suggestions, comment down below. Hit the like, subscribe button, hit the notification button, and the bell. I try to upload at least once a week. Um, as I did uh as I said and I do say in, in every once in a while, I have a pretty crazy schedule, especially with uh the way my kids beat my ass. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Between work and my kids beating on me, I, I you know I'm I don't upload like I used to. Um Links to my Etsy shop will be down below. Also, links to the books that I have currently published that uh, will be down below. I will also I'm also working on more books, um, which is another reason why I don't upload the way I used to because I I'm writing like five to eight right now. No, I'm not joking. Um, I just finished up with Letters to You. It's uh, Letters to You: A Time to Love. It's the fourth and final one in the Letters to You series. I'm not writing any more Letters to You books. Um, I'm working now on Memoirs of a Love Song. It's a, it's like letters to you, but it has nothing to do with any of my personal relationships. It's just relationships in general and feeling love. And I'm a sucker for a good love song. I'm a sucker for old school R&B. Brian McKnight, I actually got to meet him after I lost one of my last fights. 
Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm working on Battle World issue two. That's two books, right? I finished one. That's that's three. They're technically three books. Um, I'm working on uh, Tales of Adventure issues two, three, and four. So that's five right there. Uh, Tales from the Heart issue one. That's six. Uh, well, it's more. Yeah, I think that's it right now. Um, no, um, Death of a Good Man. I'm writing. It's a book called Death of a Good Man. It is my analysis of the modern dating world and how bullshit killed it um that one is going to be controversial as fuck a lot ladies you chances are you ain't going to agree with it i just, I just want to get that one out of there to begin with but uh also if you want to uh, not just um Contribute to uh, the channel with my Etsy shop or with my books. You can also pers uh, help out personally, a little more personal, with the Patreon. I have a Patreon um, down below. I post up videos from, as I, as I said, I'm a bouncer at a strip club. I post up videos and, and pictures and things from, well, me with the girls hanging out. and doing, Actually, now that I think about it, in the commercial, in, in the little advertising, one of these shirts um i say one up because i have like five shirts just like this um so i've been rambling on for too long so in the meantime between time i'm always with these peace signs i'm your main man king sway i'm gonna catch you in the next one